What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This I'm going to bring you a quick one month review of this is the Sony 135mm 1.8 G Master lens. Uh, and I kind of go through on why I purchased this, what I do with it, and who it may may not be for. Uh, so this retails for about $2,100 and I am not a professional photographer. This is probably way overkill for me, but I actually got a used copy for about $1,400, so you can get it in the used market for a decent price point. Uh, so what's so special about this lens over some of the other G Master lens? This is probably mainly focused as a portrait lens and I think a sports lens, mainly because it has Sony's new XD linear motors, two of them I believe. I think the G Master 1.2 GM has four, but it has our new XD motors. Uh, and I'll kind of go through with the performance on why this may be a good sports camera also, uh, comparing it to some of the other things out there. I'm shooting this outside, so I'm sure the white balance and exposure is all jacked up. But uh, So the build quality on this is really good. I've only owned it for about a month, but the person previously had it for over a year. Uh, so it's a little over a year old. Uh, it's mainly metal and plastic. It is a fairly heavy lens, so I will mention that is that it's a little bit on the chunkier, heavier side, uh, especially compared to my previous uh, portrait family sports lens was the Canon EF-135 2.0, which was a really, really good lens, very old, but it was pretty light uh, for an F2 135mm lens. Sorry for the dog barking in the background. We have tons of crazy neighbors that have dogs that just bark 24-7. Uh, uh, but it has two of the, the XD motors in it, uh, which I don't remember when they came out with that, but I know the GM35 I'm using just has the regular linear uh, two motors in it. Um, so the quality is really good. It does have one negative in the, qual in the design of it. It has an 82 millimeter front filter thread so if you use any type of filters on this prepare to shell out a decent amount of money and I don't think 82 is easy to find as <laughs> 67, 72 uh, which are a little bit more common uh, for filter, filter sizes. Uh, the one I got uh, there was only about 10 different ones that were out there to choose from that I would personally get uh, so I haven't had any issues with the lens at all. Um, so. I think this is a pretty upgrade even over the say the G Master 85 mainly because while I do think the 85mm focal length is a little bit more in line with what people would probably use for a portrait lens, I personally prefer the 135 compression just because I think it has a little bit more unique uh, angle to it versus the 85 which is very common, almost everybody uses that lens. especially at least some of the YouTube people I watch on here that are wedding photographers, uh, that is a big go-to lens for them. I think the 135 is a little bit more unique in that it has a little bit more compression to it. And if you use, uh, if you shoot it in crop mode on a full frame Sony, especially one of the higher megapixel counts, you're gonna get close to 200 millimeters, so you do have a little bit of wiggle room there to where you not really have a 70 to 200, but you'd have a 135 to 200 if you're okay with dropping down the resolution and putting a crop on it. When it comes to performance of this, this is where I think this thing really shines in that the, the linear XD new focusing motors they have in here are the fastest focusing lens I've ever used. It's still moving a lot of glass at 1.8, it'd be 135, uh, but it is absolutely remarkable and I think you should, could use this for pro grade for sports photography or event photography if you were doing something like that. So I don't think it's just mainly a portrait lens. I think you could use it in sports also, especially if you know that the 135 millimeter focal length works. So I think it's it's just crazy how fast it focuses. I'm using the Sony a7 IV, uh, but I've seen that even on the a7 III, it's a really, really fast focusing lens. So I plan on using this for sports when my toddler gets old enough to be able to do that. Uh, he does do a lot of running around and it has no issue keeping up with him. Uh, so I do like that. A few negatives, uh, it's expensive. That's probably the biggest one is that it, it, you can't get it used. I've seen it for $1,500 
basically any time you want, but it is fairly expensive, and the 82 millimeter uh, filter thread is going to be more expensive and a little more difficult to find. Uh, but that's it, I'm really happy for it. If you do portraits, sports, events, and you just want something different with a little more compression than an 85, I think it's the way to go. I will get a longer term review of this stuff as I use it, but I want to give a quick one up for you guys. Uh, so if you have any comments, questions, leave them below, and I will get back to you and enjoy the rest of the day out there.